In the last video, we learned how to calculate the consumption of the household items and devices that we have. In this video, we're going to design our solar energy system based on that consumption. Stick around. God bless you and welcome back to this channel. If you're not subscribed, I invite you to do so so you don't miss any video from this series. As I mentioned it, in the last video we talked about how to calculate the watts any device either produce or consumes. I also gave you access to a online tool which allows you to calculate the watts of each device based on the hours that you're going to use it and then have a better idea of the whole capacity that you're going to need for your system. In this video, we're going to take that capacity that we calculated on the last one and we're going to use it to start designing the solar energy system that we want. Once again, I invite you to go to DIY Battery Store com go to the part that says tools scroll down a little bit and even though we're going to use this one let's just go back to the last tool that we use so we can attach one to the other so let's go back to the what's calculator and just for the purpose of this video we're going to use the fridge my fridge it's 115 volts it's uh 3.5 amps and we're going to use that for 24 hours we're going to click add and also we want to use a tv it uses 110 about 7.75 amps and we're going to use five hours now if you click over here that says create system it's going to take you to the new tool and it's already going to enter that capacity for you all you have to do now is just click run and it's going to give you a table of different items that you might want to consider in order to create a solar system based on this calculation it's going to suggest you based on the different kits that we have on the DIY battery store and also it's going to suggest you the amount of cells that you're going to need based on that kit now this is going to tackle one of the many questions that i got i think it, every single day someone asked me what's the kit that i need how much capacity do they have hopefully this is going to teach you and you're going to be at rest for now on because now you have a tool that is going to give you the amount that you need for example let's say that you are going for the 7s kit and you just click on it and it's go already going to give you the quantity that you need and it's also going to give you a total amount of capacity that kid's going to have. For example, you want a, a 3,300 power wall, or that's the amount of energy that you need. But when you go to the kits, it's going to show you something different. For this one, you're going to have an extra of 150 watts, more or less. For the 7S, you're going to have about 1,000 watts. That's going to be over. And also for the 14S, it's also going to give you the amount of cells that you need to buy in order to make that kit work for you also in this tool that you have here it's going to give you a suggested solar panels based on what you want to accomplish on your system this is going to give you a really good idea about how many kits that you need how many cells that you need and how many panels that you need hopefully now you don't have to keep guessing how many cells do i need or how many watts uh, this device is going to use or how many kits do I need to buy? The whole purpose of my, my goal for this video series is to keep adding tools for you guys to use them to help you out be faster when it comes to building a solar energy system. On the next video, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the, the little devices that we are going to need, like a solar charge controller, watt inverters that we need. We're gonna talk about a little bit more about the solar panels. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, just do it, because then you're gonna keep up with the different videos that we are gonna be pumping out. And this whole series is gonna take us to build a full power wall that I'm gonna use on my house. So please like, share, and subscribe. And remember, we are still trying to uh, raise fundings to keep this whole project alive if you feel like helping there's going to be a link in the description on the website called youhelp.com and whatever amount that you are capable of doing just do so please and we're going to be really grateful or if you just want to share the link with someone on your social media maybe they'll be able to help so god bless you all and remember jesus christ loves you he already died for you he already forgave you and he loves you God bless you.